Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my November TBR. So the month of November, oh my god, it's gonna be one hell of a month. So this month, school is wrapping up. My college uh, semester for the fall is wrapping up this month. And then I also have NaNoWriMo this month, so I'm again participating that I participated in last year. And I'm going to have a whole entire video talking more about my NaNoWriMo plan, so that'll be up in a couple days. And that's happening. So it's going to be a busy month, and I'm giving myself, I would say, somewhat of an ambitious TBR compared, considering all of the things that are going on. So, yeah, we should see what happens. Hopefully I'll get a lot of books done. But I, when I'm filming this, I have already finished one book, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to write in and talk about all the other books that are on my TBR. So for the first book I have on my TBR, I'm actually currently reading that, and that is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This was on my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video that I did at the beginning of the year. I'll have it linked down below. And I, again, am currently reading it. I'm actually almost done. And this is a YA dystopian novel that follows our main character, Cassie, who lives in a world where there has been an alien invasion, but it has come in waves. So there has been a wave where the lights went out, there was one where a sickness took over the wetland, and the now there's the fifth wave. And this fifth wave, I don't exactly know how to describe it, and but pretty much her brother has been taken, and it, the story takes off in there. It's really hard to explain, and like I said, I'm almost done, and I'm not liking it so far. I'll be honest right now that I'm not liking this. Um, it has gotten better as of book has gone on but I don't know if it's enough for me to continue on with the trilogy. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully I will enjoy it enough to continue on but I don't know at this point. The next book on my TBR for this month is the book club picked for the month of October for my good friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles' book club. I will link her channel as well as a good reads group down below if you guys would like to follow. Check it out and come join us. So that book is Night Road by Kristen Hanna. Kristen Hanna is the author of The Nightingale which I have on my TBR. I bought it a couple months ago and I've heard fantastic things about that as well. This one, I honestly don't know anything about. I think it might be historical fiction. I could be wrong. I don't know anything pretty much about it, but I know Chris and Hannah is a very beloved author, so I'm really, really excited to check it out. The next book I have on my TBR is one I've seen all over book two since it was released, and I know the second book in the series just came out at the beginning of the month of October, I believe. That book is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This is a YA dark fantasy novel, and the only thing I know about this is it follows a female main character that is trained to be an assassin. Sign me up. I love books about female assassins. I think they're so, so cool. After I read Throne of Glass last year, I was like, I want all the books that have female assassin main characters. Just give them all to me. So I am really excited to check this out. And plus, can we talk about this cover for a second? It's so, so pretty. So definitely, definitely excited to check this out. The next one I have is The Hammer of Thor, which is book two in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy by Rick Riordan. This is a Norse mythology trilogy that follows our main character, Magnus Chase who finds out at the beginning of the first book, which was The Sword of Summer, I read the last month, that he is the son of Frey. And he, at the beginning of the first book, he is living on the streets of Boston. He is homeless. Again, he finds out that he's the son of one of these gods, who uh, Frey, who is the summer god, I believe, in Norse mythology. And he is sent on a quest in the first book to find a long-lost sword, and he makes friends along the way. The first book was very action-packed, and I was, like, I just could not put the book down. Hopefully that continues into the second book because I have a feeling that it's just going to get better and better with each book. I have, I deep down my heart, I can already tell it's going to get better. <laughs> the next book on my TBR was another, or was one of my most anticipated releases of this year that I originally was not going to pick up, but now I am glad I am. That book is Trails All the Way Down by John Green. John Green is the author of The Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, and Paper Towns. All of those I have read in the past, absolutely love good majority of those and this is his newest book that follows a main character I, I think her name is Aza who is s somehow caught up in a mystery to find a fugitive millionaire that is very different than anything John Green has written in the past he is known for his contemporary writing this one again it sounds like a mystery novel and I believe there's a ton of representation of it I've heard that the main character has OCD, which I believe is own voices because John Green himself has OCD. That's what I've heard from the reviews I've seen so far since this was released. 
So I'm excited. I've never read a book about a main character with OCD, so definitely interested. <laughs> The next one I have is The Bane Chronicles, which is a collection of short stories by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. If you guys have been following my channel for the past couple of months, making it brief, I have been reading the Shadow Chronicles, Chronicles books for five months, I want to say, and this is the next book I have to read in this series. I kind of took a break from the Shadow Hunter Chronicles world last month because I just... I had a really bad experience with one of the books and I just needed a break from it. So I'm excited to check uh, this book out because I had started it on audio and didn't get very far into it before I got, had to return to the library. So I'm excited to pick it back up and see if I enjoy it. The next book I have to talk about is a book I listened to for a review by the author and that is The Iron Nefertiti and this is by Maria Louisa Lang. This is a second book in a series. The first book is called The Pharaoh's Cat. I read that two months ago yeah, two months ago in September. I loved that first book. It was a very surprising read. I didn't expect to love it, but I did. And this is the second book, which is actually a companion novel, so you don't necessarily have to read the first book in order to read this. And this is a series that follows a cat who befriends a pharaoh in Egypt. And that's pretty much all I can talk tell you, because there's a lot of different elements. to There's fantasy elements, there is time travel involved. It's very interesting. So really excited to see where the story goes from here. The next one is Warcross by Marie Lu. This is one of my most anticipated releases of this year. I love Marie Lu. I read her Legend Trilogy last year, which I have a full series review on. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. This is her newest release, which is a science fiction novel that follows our main character, Amika, who is a bounty hunter. In this, this futuristic world, there is a craze going around, around this game called War Warcross, which is a virtual reality game. And she hacks into the game to find uh, people who are illegally bet betting on the game and track them down. And then she f accidentally hacks into the championship of Warcross. So that's really cool. This is another one I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it since it was released. So definitely have high hopes for this. And the last two books I have to talk about today are books that were on my top 10 books I'm going to read in 2017 video. Those ones are The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which is a very well-loved historical fiction book that I have yet to read. That, and it's been on my TBR for six years or so, even, maybe even more than that. This follows a, a young girl who is living during World War II, and she is, I believe, extremely poor. So she goes around and steals books, I believe. And this is told from the uh, perspective of death. So that's interesting. And the last book that was on that uh, top 10 books I'm going to read tw in 2017 video, and the last book on this TBR, is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is a YA dystopian novel that follows our main character who wakes up one day and he is in a maze for some reason. There is only males around, no females, I believe. So. I heard a lot of mixed things about the series. The movies just started coming out, so that is definitely intriguing. Um, definitely interested to see if I like this book or not. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll have any videos mentioned in this video linked down below, as well as Lisa's channel and the Goodreads group. Those will all be in the description box below, as always along with all of my social media links, my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are all linked down below as always. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!